So time marches on and AMD has published even more benchmarks for its Radeon RX 6000 series RDNA 2 based graphics card lineup, which includes performance metrics at 4K and 1440p for the Radeon RX 6900 XT, the RX 6800 XT, and the RX 6800. The performance results are detailed along with the test platform used and also the settings at which each title was tested. AMD posted a handful of benchmark tested across 10 games in both 4K and 1440p resolutions. The benchmarks were carried out on an X570 reference platform for all graphics cards which makes use of the Ryzen 9 5900X 12 core and 24 thread processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200MHz memory, and the latest drivers for each graphics card. Since this is a Ryzen 5000 series CPU based platform, AMD GPUs take full advantage of Smart Access Memory Technology or SAM for short, which allows the CPU to take full use of the graphics memory that is featured on the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards, allowing for upwards to 11% performance increase across select titles according to AMD. So starting off with the benchmarks at 4K, the Radeon RX 6900 XT wins in 5 titles against the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3090 while coming real close to the card in the remaining Five. The RX 6800 XT also manages to come out faster than the GeForce RTX 90 in 5 titles which is quite impressive when the card will only cost $679. Compared to the $1,500 US price tag of the RTX 3090. The RX 6800 XT comes out faster in 6 titles versus the RTX 3080 Founders Edition graphics card. And lastly we have the RX 6800 XT which simply demolishes the RTX 2080 Ti at 4K resolutions in all titles and even outpaces the RTX 3080 in Forza Horizon 4. At 1440p, the RX 6900 XT and the RX 6800 XT are more or less faster or equal to the RTX 3090 graphics card in Battlefield 5 and Forza Horizon 4. Even the Radeon RX 6800 ends up being faster than the RTX 3090 graphics card here. AMD doesn't just stop at performance benchmarks, they also compared FPS to dollars value where the RX 6800 XT seems to be the real champ of the RX 6000 series lineup, followed by the 6800 and finally the 6900. XT following it up. I mean, it's obviously the most expensive. There are some things to consider here as Nvidia graphics cards generally offer better performance on Intel platforms, so that needs to be tested out too. Furthermore, AMD doesn't seem to be using its Rage Mode feature in these benchmarks and hasn't been mentioned anywhere in here. The auto overclocking tool allows for even better performance than what we're seeing here, so that can be expected to be tested extensively when the final reviews hit. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.